Hey everybody, how is it going? It's uh, Lost Morato's Gaming here, and today for our first video, we're going to be doing um, a reacting, vi reacting video. Everyone say hi. How's it going, y'all? Stuttering. <laughs> so, so I was going to continue this, but like, as I was talking, just a bunch of spit came out of my mouth onto my pillow. And, we uh... We didn't know that. Just continue yeah, it. Yeah, no no one needed to hear that. No, I'm I trying to talk right now. Anywho, we're going to yeah, be reacting. Anyway, y'all, um, today we're going to be reacting to where did all these images come from, part three. This sh this one comes from our great. good friends here at the Morbid for Fun YouTube channel. We will be linking them in the description below if you want to check them out. I personally love their content. Show them a big love and support and tell them that Los Muertos Gaming sent you. And without further ado, Lo, let's get started with the video. There are over 12 trillion photos taken throughout history. A lot of them are normal such as selfies and Skype photos, but sometimes people take very disturbing photos. Sometimes it's accidental, but a lot of the time these scary photos are planned out, and some even become popular creepypastas, such as the Russian sleep experiment monster, which is- Oh my- okay, I wanna get started on the Russian sleep experiment monster. This shit, I kid you not, used to scare the fuck out of me when I was a kid. Like, cause I honestly thought this was real. Like, I actually thought, like, yeah, oh yeah, same. the fucking communists thought this, like, did this shit. Same. And this was, like, one of the real guys. It's not. Yeah, I know it's not now as an adult, though, but imagine, oh, like, seeing this same. shit in, like, 2012. Nah, I, I forgot, I low-key forgot what it was. The Russian sleep experiment? No, the, like, this freaking mummy thing. Oh, uh, yeah. I forgot what it exactly was. Okay, so I'm gonna pause. Let's go back to it. It is actually a spirit Halloween decoration. So in today's video, we will be answering the question, where did these images come from? Be quiet, they really just got a face mold of you. Welcome back to another video. And today we will be talking about where did- Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna pause it real fast though, cause your audio is very quiet. I'm just noticing this now. So- Mirror, it mirrors nothing. Uh, Everyone else was fine though, it was just Yasha who was just very quiet, so I changed them up real fast. Back. Anyway, back to the video. Where did these images come from part 3? I don't know if I will make a part 4, I don't think Why does this guy look finale, like a but the thing rider? is, when it comes to the most popular yes. and iconic horror no. photos, I pretty much covered yeah. all of them already. It's just so that look to them. It's like the glasses and the mustache and the hair. Who knows? They just all and come together. It's like it's like the Powerpuff sure Girls. Go check out they all no, come together. It's just like the hair. The <laughs> in the description below for some fire clothing. <laughs> and also, don't no, forget guys, to check out my it's, Twitter it's and it's especially my white. Instagram because I do want to post All right, so go check those out. And they will be linked in the description below. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this is a collab video with Jaden Salads. I've actually collabed with them. We're in the playing past with her because I did appear what? in his most recent video, and you today to I will be having him on this video since though. he also has a very popular series. Where he... All right, all right. Let's try to be a little bit more quiet. Let's just pause it when we're trying to talk. Photos taken throughout history. The Everything Russian sleep experiment photos. There are two photos associated with the Is Russian sleep experiment. For you guys? One photo that shows four men in gas masks, and one photo of a victim who was in the experiments. The Russian sleep experiment has to be one of the biggest creepypastas of all time, just because many people believe that this story yeah, it's, is true. It's like a but scary it's series, too. Fake. I actually and never I'm got not to gonna see lie this to you guys, I just found out that the Russian sleep experiments were fake. This All right, let's, let's, let's just pause it real quick and talk about it real quick. It's highly believable. So, like, with the Russian sleep experiment, this was, like, scary, man. Like, this was, like, horrifying. Like, this was the type of sh to make you, like, actually poop your pants. Like, this stuff would have me, like, in my parents' room because I was so scared that the Russian sleep experiment person would come out of, like, nowhere and start like actually trying to numb on some of my fingernails but, like, no cap that, bro. It's just, no cap the teeth the teeth <laughs> oh, bro. Really? like it's just so weird Cause, like, yeah they're so big and they also just look like fingernails too yeah they did look, look like, like miss hudson yeah 
And then you got to think, like, in the, I think in the story, say somewhere that they started, like, biting their skin off or something like that. No, they ripped off, no. Stomachs. Yeah, they ripped off they their ripped stomach. Yeah, they also, that stuff got hurt. You got to, yeah. like, and, like, there was stuff about, like, demons in that, bruh. No, no, I'm kidding. No. So the thing is, though, the thing is, though, they actually ripped out their eyelids so they couldn't sleep as well as their lips. Because they kept, like, gnawing at their lips. You know, so What's it called? Uh, sleep demons are actually a German thing. You guys know that? No, I did not. Yeah, what well, you know. know. Learn with, uh, no, learn with Clown. Uh, just, just play that one PSA thing. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about, right? No. Nah. <laughs> the more you know. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get back into it. Which convinced a large audience of its plausibility, unlike more well known links in creepypastas like Jeff the Killer or Smile Dog, which are clearly fiction. Oh my the god. Yeah. Yo, no, no, no. I hate to pause it again, though. No, I hate to pause it again, though. No, but Jeff the Killer and Smile Dog, holy shit. I was around when that I shit first cry. popped off on the scene. I wasn't. I really was scared of Jeff the Killer. I was scared of this Smile Dog, bro. Yeah. No, Smile Dog was actually more terrifying. Smile Dog was more terrifying no, than no, no, no. Jeff the Killer. I was scared of it. The reason I was scared of Smile Dog was because, uh, uh, like, back in the day when I used to, like, lay down, like, I could, like, like, in the dark, I could just, like, see most stuff, like, and I used to just see it all as just, like, like, creepy bosses. So, like, yeah. every time I would look at an object, it was either my sleep paralysis demon was sitting there doing the moonwalk, or it was Smile Dog coming <laughs> to eat me. I'd, I'd rather not take my chance. Your sleep paralysis no, demon was- no, Nah, your sleep paralysis okay. demon is just Yasha. Yasha's just sleep paralysis demon. I know he he just sits in my room. He just stares at me. He, he just looks like he just looks like oh he looks like that one back room monster. He just asks how your day is and you're just scared shitless because it's just Yasha. No, you guys you guys know how it's just like like I was literally just screaming. Yeah. <laughs> like that's just my reaction to seeing Yasha at school. <laughs> that's my reaction to seeing you because every single time. Like, you walk up to me. It's not even walking. You're just full on sprinting to me. You know, went oh, yeah. Kind of racist, man. Scared of a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of racist, man. Scared of a black man running at you. Yeah. Yo, 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 yo. I'm going to give you guys a little um clown PSA. So, uh, back when I was like. Back when me and Yasha were like. Around each other. Boyfriend and boyfriend. Every time I used to see this man. And this was like a month ago, like before I started moving. Um, every time I used to see this man, I would just start having a sprint. I would jump in the air and act like I was gonna Superman punch him. No, I used to do this oh, with like, both Ace and Yasha. I used to bully them. One time, like I used to me, and then he fell. It was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> like, Wait, you actually fell? I did not want to see your ass today. Oh my god. I, I let him go after that. Alright, let's unpause the, the video, the guys. Okay. My off. Which heighten the credibility, and that's what makes it stand out from Stairs the other my So good. Alright, I'm gonna try to jump down my bed. If I don't survive, donate my body to science. Five prisoners are exposed to a gas to keep them away for 30 days, where they became increasingly disturbed. With one even mutilating himself and others. Yeah. Horrific acts of self-mutilation, cannibalism, and violence. The subjects gained superhuman abilities, but eventually succumbed to death of madness. Yeah. The researchers try to stop the experiment. Chaos Why ensues, you say yeah? And it is revealed that the what? subject represents. Cause it's cool. Like I'm just intrigued by this. No. This is only a brief summary, as the full you said, story yeah. is extremely long. Yeah. Where did these Russian sleep experiment photos come okay, from? Okay, dude. So we start off with the four men in gas masks. I decided to copy paste the photo into Tinai, which is a more accurate reverse image searcher, and it can even tell me the earliest date that the photo was posted to the web. When I dragged the photo into Tinai, the earliest you photo get a picture of eight. It's an Amazon photo, link. Was posted on March 8th, 2008, <laughs> as an Amazon listing. When you click on the Amazon link, it takes you to an Amazon page saying, "Sorry, we couldn't find this page." However, when you're on Tinai, the photo looks a bit different. That's yeah. because there's a picture frame around the photo. So the Amazon listing was most likely selling picture frames and Amazon Interesting. Frames That's so cool. As a stock image, which would be very My reaction when you guys start telling me about your day. <laughs>
<laughs> like I said, the nah, like the thing about it, a creepy pasta started off from an Amazon picture frame. That's insane. I have the urge to just eat some zesty fries. <laughs> Since it seems to be a photo from the war, I decided to go to the other earlier one. The war? No, no, no. I found a website called Granger, and they posted the photo to the world of Yeah, 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 yeah. We can't really go and give, like, stories about, like, personal lives and stuff. American soldiers demonstrating the different types of gas masks worn by the U.S., British, French, and German troops. So this is a World War I photo. But I still can't pinpoint an exact date when this photo was taken. But at least we know the and time period of this photo. And for the moment we've been Fortnite waiting for, where did bro. this image he come does. from? For the longest, I found bootleg a Matt Pat. <laughs> Man, that's like a bootleg Matt Pat that you get off Wish.com. The Halloween decoration is called Spasm. 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 Halloween for the 2005 go season. It resembled a dead man. I was just came down here to get something to drink. Foaming at the mouth and sitting on the yeah. ground. How did that this turn into a creepy pasta? That's so weird. Yeah. Yeah. In 2009 yeah. to 2015, why is, why is it vibrating? Online, and this enemy yeah. 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 was made by Morbid oh. Enterprises. Mm -hmm. So somebody who hmm. was like, oh, yeah. 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 simply took a photo mm -hmm. of it. Because of the um, jelly? The first time that the internet saw the edited <laughs> photo was on March 29th of 2013, <laughs> which was posted to a photo sharing site called TC Magazine, and they have a section called Photo Dump, where people and one of those photos is the Russian sleep experiment, Mummy Guy. It's so funny to me how this very popular horror image that so many people believe that it's real is simply a Halloween decoration from Spirit Halloween. I love Spirit Halloween. The Cooper family. Oh my god, I was- No, no. So I was around when this happened. The cute, like the, like the falling body, I was around when this first came out. Like I was in middle school I don't in this shit. Really remember this one? And this came out when I was in middle school. Like really, it was like I've never heard ten of years ago. It came out. Now that I think about it though, because I remember this thing was like first coming out though, and like this was like set in my hometown pretty much. Like that's when it was pretty much like, oh yeah, this, could, this was in your hometown and you didn't even realize this family and like this photo. It was insane. The story goes that in the 1950s, it, like, it took place in your town. Bought an old home. The father would no, it wasn't in my actual hometown though. People would just make memes about it, saying like, "Oh yeah, this took place in your hometown," like, and you didn't know this family, you didn't know what happened, like you weren't there for that, like you'll never understand, like shit like that though. And it became like a whole shit post meme around my high school or around my middle school and my high school, saying like, "Oh yeah, I was there when it happened. I was there when it happened." Like, I know what happened. I knew these families. Even though, like, this picture was, like, set in the 50s, everyone... And this just became, like, a running joke in my hometown saying, like, oh, yeah, like, I was there. I remember this family. I went to school with these kids. Like, shit like that, though. So if you're from... If you're from, if you're from Houston, give a like and say what part of Houston you're from, though, because this meme was everywhere back in the day. All right, all right. Let me give, let me give it the PSA real quick. Uh, joking about, like, families and children dying isn't cool. That stuff is messed up. Bro, well, yeah, obviously. A lot of things on this channel, but, like, that's not one of them. Bro, well, duh, but I'm uh, saying, yeah, though, like, back in middle school. Into, like, this was back in my talk. middle school days. Like, you can't get mad. I'm just saying, though. I'm just saying. I'm just saying for, like, YouTube reasons and for, like, other reasons being, like, I don't want them to be, like, oh, we're just joking about this type of stuff. Yeah, we only joke we're about... We like, only really, really joke... We're really really joking about the idea. We're only joke. We, like, the only thing we joke don't joke about is going to jack someone's house and recording his house that's the only thing we don't joke about who's jack's films oh that controversy <laughs> that youtube is not gonna no, do not shit I, I wouldn't really get into controversies <laughs> you, youtube ain't gonna do shit to sniper wolf i'm just saying that right now i'm going on a tangent like but... don't talk bad about youtube don't talk bad about youtube uh we're a small indie they channel. Go. We're a small indie game company. What are they gonna do? They're gonna take our channel away. No, 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 no. They're gonna do. They're gonna, no, take gonna take Yasha's teeth. They're gonna take Yasha away. To four kids. No. 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 Circumcise your dog. All we gotta do is curse, and we won't be on the kid. Nah, nah, nah. They're gonna send. They're gonna send Ace to the YouTube Kids app. No. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> no, 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 it's just Ace. Gonna, no, YouTube themselves are going to edit the videos where every time Ace talks and put it on YouTube Kids. Everything else is going to be on regular YouTube, except for Ace. <laughs> That dude is actually wild. That would be so funny. Like, you have to watch two different channels just to get the entire story. Like, we're on one story. It's just silent for like five minutes because of Ace talking. That's on YouTube Kids. No, you What are you talking about? Alright. Then take this photo of the two kids with their mom and grandma. Afterwards, when they got the photo developed, grandma? they would discover the body falling out on the left. Obviously, this was rather unsettling and quite creepy and mysterious, as there wasn't actually a falling body when they took the photo. Don't mind this. Don't you, mind Timothy. He's just a little quirky and I. <laughs> <laughs> but is the photo even real? Josh's dad. Is most likely fake. Still not entirely. Josh's dad. Many people tried to explain this photo, and a Reddit user was the one to say this. They took the film to get it developed. Apparently, one of the guys developing the film noticed how the family is off to the right, and there was just a big empty space on the left. So he threw a negative from another photo onto the film and then developed it as a prank. And the falling body is actually just a cutout of someone from another image placed on top of this one. When the oh. family got the developed photo, they immediately took it as evidence of the paranormal instead of realizing it was just a joke. I can't really blame Could them. Just it was spooky. Well, no this is in the 50s. You can't tell. Deal. Deal. Makes a lot more sense. And it was pretty they were in the your town, and you didn't know this. Or even do double exposures like this one as a sort of you weren't there for that. Item. The family did yes. not know they were posing for a ghost photo, unlike this guy, who clearly paid to have a double. But yeah, just like, no, this did, did not happen in Houston. It didn't happen in Houston at all. <laughs> I have no idea where this oh, happened. Wow. But it became a... I don't, I don't it, know. This is like... It became a running like joke, though. Like, when this became a meme, it became a running joke to say, oh, yeah, it was in your hometown. What's a no-name state, real quick? What's a state that, like, no one cares about? Tennessee. Like, Houston. Um, Missouri. Or Missouri. Missouri. Houston is not a state, dumbass. It's not. That's a football team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yasha, your mom gets oh, plowed yeah. by football teams. What? what do you Don't worry. He didn't hear me. Don't worry about <laughs> you didn't it. Hear anything. You didn't hear anything. <laughs> the one thing, like I'm bad at, is like hearing your guy, you guys, because like my number one word on call is what. Anywho. Um, what is death? It's Kansas. Nobody cares about Kansas. That's facts. No one cares about Kansas. But candies, nuts, penny. I'm just kidding. Uh, no, I, I, I wasn't even gonna pull that joke. I can't like, wait. If you don't stop speaking your made up languages while we're trying to watch a video, if you don't stop speaking, I eat dog. You're not speaking up. That's Bro's having, <laughs> Bro's having a stroke. Bro's having a stroke. I forgot. <laughs> Flintlock wood. Yeah, I've never heard of that language before. Double exposure done to represent right. a translucent ghost in the Bro, world. speaking dirt baby Nevertheless, language. It's most likely that this wasn't a ghost, just a joke. This theory seems rather plausible because back in the day when cameras were fairly new, Dude, people would do double exposure photos to make it seem like there's a ghost. <laughs> He's, in the He's speaking Enderman. He's speaking Enderman. Picture eventually spoke out and had this to say. When my older brother sent me this link, I was floored. Dude, really just speaking. Dude, really just well, we were said back you're speaking like. I have many pictures like this. <laughs> Which from Minecraft? My mother had a habit of throwing right, away pictures go, that go. she didn't like. Eventually, yeah. the ones she kept were passed along to me. Yeah. What annoys me is that somebody got a hold of a family photograph. The story is almost entirely fiction. Our last name is Copper, not Cooper. Does anyone know who did this? However, we don't know if this is the real boy Sorry, that was photo, me. as anyone can pass around misinformation and pose as anybody Sorry, as the enemy. Me. Clown with an axe. This is an iconic yeah, me. image that has been on the internet for many years now. I have never seen this one. Clown walking down to the basement yeah, me with an axe. Approaching a family. So, where did this photo come from? How big well, is that dude? Well, this was a dude? photo created by a famous American Wait. photographer, Rosalind like Fox. Woman! This is a piece of art called Halloween. 
which was taken in 1977. However, the clown was never holding an ass, but instead holding some type of black stick. That clown is Some rude, took Rosalind's Dude, photo and added an ass to make the image more creepy. Nice. In most of Rosalind's art, she includes creepy masks and dolls. She would even explain why she uses them in her photos by saying, I like the symbolisms and metaphors that they represent. She even gave context behind her- What metaphors photo are they? stated that the hovering giant clown may represent a political figure- Yeah, she's probably sitting there and crying now that her, um, that what it, that what's it called. That, like, her all, all of her stuff has come to strange, life and they're now haunting her. But honestly, her. I dig her work. Four children for sale. This photo These pops dolls up from turned into animals. Animals. Room pages, But they're not even places on the internet. For many people, Four children for sale. Hey, don't talk that about eight that way. Is that this is some sort of <laughs> Yo! Parent would actually <laughs> sell their children, especially in this type of way. Joke within a well, racist joke. Unfortunately, yeah. the photograph wasn't a joke, and the mother was actually attempting to sell her own children. <laughs> nice. This is a photo from 1948, showing four children. Hey, you know what? Wait, what? what? They're the breaking up. 1748. Can you rewind that? I want to see how much they are. I need to know if it's stealing. Picture, the reality of it was, she was actually trying to sell her I children, my off team. and unfortunately enough, the all four liver kids in the, in the photo, black market. plus the baby she was carrying, I'm were eventually sell your sold liver. to different families within two no. years. Ray Ann and her brother Damn. Nathan ended up being sold for just two dollars to an abusive family. Okay. Two dollars? Two dollars? That's a steal! He gave me the two dollar bill, and that's good enough for me. <laughs> So apparently, yeah, like Ray Ann and Milton were both sold for two dollars back in the forties. How That's old are these kids? You can make them do manual labor for two dollars. You don't even have to pay them for it. The two dollar bill. Wait, Sue Ellen have to work and live in such harsh conditions. Ooh, adoption. <laughs> When she named Someone House. Someone Row House. Yeah, she was on meth. No, but she was on meth. The video was posted on April 15th, 2020, which was a time oh, period where green and oh. liminal space images were starting to become more mainstream. In fact, in the video, it also features other very popular liminal space images, but the one I want to talk about is this one right here, a very creepy looking house in the dark. It is Doesn't look that creepy. Of the video. Believe it or not, this house is somewhat normal famous because house it's in the Monroe house, night. Yeah. which is haunted. No, it's this not. This house from the 1860s oh, wow. it's haunted. So was scared. featured no one cares. in a show called Paranormal Lockdown, in which in a 2018 episode, they do a ghost investigation where they find human bones in the house basement. Ooh, so spooky. Yeah, that's fake as hell. The Monroe house is located in... Oh, spooky. A creepy house. One milli likes no, will... One... No, nah, one milli... No, nah, no, nah, shut the fuck up. Just like... Shut the fuck up. 100, 1 million likes. We'll all go to the Monroe house and spend the night there. 1 million likes. No. 1 million no. likes. <laughs> all right, I, I imagine, imagine the ghost punches were just there. Hey, if you're not here, if, if yo, no balls, you show your face and kill uh, Sam, uh Samula over there because she stole my sandwich. Imagine they were just doing that. <laughs> right, she yeah, ate my leftovers. Ghost here. Just get the rest of the footage. We're out of here. Nah, man. 1 million likes. For, 1 million likes. We'll spend the night here. 1 million likes. They were, they I'd were literally- probably, No, no, you guys would probably on God, you won't sacrifice me. On God, on God, one milli likes. We'll all spend nah, it here. Nah, either be me or Ace that are get sacrificed. Nah, knowing y'all motherfuckers, though, y'all wouldn't do it unless we gave y'all Scooby snacks. I want my Scooby <laughs> snacks. I want my Scooby snacks. Yeah, I'm, I'm going and bulldozing all of your houses. Scooby snacks <laughs> is just lean, just to let you know, y'all. Scooby snacks is lean. Yeah. Yeah, we can I all tell that Scooby is basic. I mean, um, what's his name? Shaggy is basically a stoner. No, Shaggy is a stoner, and so is and Scooby's on lean. Why do you think Scooby's so yeah. chill all the time? Motherfucker's on lean. Because of the way he, because of the way he talks. <laughs> that too. <laughs> <laughs> I I, I want to know how, like. This house is so disturbing. It's just a house in the night. Well, if you just watch the damn video instead of pausing it every five house. minutes, we would know. Yeah, in five it's minutes, the ghost wouldn't show up. He'd be sitting the somewhere, like, the in the corner, found by the crying about how he died, Valley, which isn't which my he problem. Covered in his Finding the Locations of Liminal Faces Part 3 video, which I am featured in that video. So go watch that Man. video after this one if you want to know the origins of other liminal face images.
TV now. Premises on Scar. If you're familiar with who I am or the videos I make on my channel, then you'd know that I'm a pretty big fan of liminal spaces and their real life locations. For this entry in particular, it's of a very surreal and strange looking liminal space. Looks like Besides Yasha's house. The lighting and vibrant colored walls, the main attraction here is the abundance of nah, my house is open. windows and wide right. staircases. I'm usually pretty good at finding you used to live in the neighbors. Just taken Hello, from, neighbor. I would have had a hard time if it wasn't for <laughs> yeah. the Oh my god. I wouldn't mind having that house. In particular. Having a pet in shark in my room. Old video <laughs> the origins and history he just has, he just has buildings, ghosts in his room. With the name Premises on Scar. This room ended up being a picture used for a website that lists Russian properties for sale. For just up to a hundred thousand US dollars, you could purchase this very unique five story cafe. Wow! Room. If I ever get a big sponsorship in the future, I know where my money's going. Can I just play and tag in this thing? Oh my god, it's Yasha's mom! Actually a photo, but instead a very popular <laughs> horror gift. Did you say well, you tapped that? Know that it was a gift. Your mom? Um, yeah, I would tap that. I would tap your mom. Images. In the game, yeah, yo, what, yo, what that, that mouth do, though? She turns around, you could tell how desperate Cole is for some poon poon. I myself, <laughs> who made this, this from, gift? like, a, Since a when video, I was on YouTube, I watched like, it. Ten years ago, it's from his really lonely porn video. Watch scary compilation yeah. Videos on YouTube, and in yeah, it's from Life of Luxury. It include those ghosts it's too. not. Well, this is actually a it, it was a joke because, like, you said it was low quality. Grave Encounters, yeah. This particular theme pops up in the movie at the 1 hour, 2 minute, and 10 second mark. Currently, you could watch what is he talking about? What? YouTube, it came from a movie, heard, not a game. Oh, it did? What game? Did you just, oh, not you game. Just, the smiley face. You said you would hit this a little girl. Yet equally unsettling scary face no, 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 no. Editor, replay, a replay on what he the just eyes said. For this face you, are too no, you said that you hit that. But, the mouth but is... that was also a little kid. That was not a little kid, that was a woman. Unsettling. unsettling. No, that was like a, that was like... Um, Yo, like a they said it was a woman. Girl. What are you on about? Nah, nah. That was a twelve-year-old girl. Girl. Dude, that no. is still unsettling. Right to this different. To this that's Yasha, I just believe that you're the pedophile. Honestly, <laughs> you're always trying to like age down people. That's See how he's quiet. See how he's quiet. Sick fuck. <laughs> you sick fuck. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Yosh, I mean, Ace, if you ever laugh like that, you know, I'm just a killer. This mouth actually dates back uh, far yeah. before this face. Well, no, nah, man, that's just a that's just the average mouth of a British person. There's different attempts to find the original <laughs> mouth, but nothing has ever been decomposing because of the teeth. confirmed though is where this creepy smiley face is actually. You ruined the joke, Yosh. Get out of here. The horror game called SCP-087B is where this face made its debut. The game is centered around a variety of SCP characters, and this happened to be the model created for the SCP-087 monster. While nice. You get this image may not have get... a definitive answer for That's just the mouth of an average British person. That shit was funny. We should do a video all about girl like SCPs. For the longest no. time, I've seen these two images of a girl looking into a mirror. SCPs uh, aren't cool. Looks at the camera, oh, you guys remember Charlie Charlie? These two yes, I remember Charlie Charlie. Shots from a viral I, 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 I know the name, but I that don't remember like the January actual. 3rd, 2008, on the end Cook 1234 YouTube channel. The video is titled Creepy Grudge Ghost Girl in the Mirror, and the video has hit over 110. That video is so years. good. If you look through the years, nah, you know, videos, you know the ghost came back for more when she saw the title of that video. Videos, which, by the way, uh -huh. these videos are edited extremely well. For they are edited really well. And they still hold up very well. <laughs> yeah. I know You're out of here. Considered an image. No, nah, they're really good though. Like, it's really good. Like, dude, imagine, the dude, imagine these in 08, just watching them when they first came out. Which is surprising to me because I thought I had seen every OG viral YouTube video, but it turns out that I missed this one back in the day. Did you guys know that there was a video associated with these images? Because I didn't. Mickey Mouse Basement Photo If you were on <laughs> the internet in the mid to late 2010s, uh, you were uncle. probably familiar with the curse of the <laughs> twin. From disturbing pictures of beings in places that be- Ew! Thousands of unexplainable wolf quality pictures, you probably he just looks like a, one in particular. He just looks like he just got in a Mickey Mouse costume. He just looks like he just got over a drunk driving. He's alone. For many people, this photo would probably yeah, just that just looks like the abandoned by Disney set. Like, y'all remember that creepy pasta abandoned by Disney? 
Just Literally, so all he wanted was to hurt, but no one was giving it to him. Guys, no, 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 no. I know his story, bro. Bro, one of the Zaw. And all bro, the Zaw. Photo was probably stars. taken by a group of friends <laughs> just to either creep out the internet or just to have a funny photo uploaded online. Really? <laughs> as it is to not have a conclusive <laughs> <laughs> image for some of these creepy pictures, do that again. it's not necessarily <laughs> a bad thing. For many of these images, it's actually part of the mystery aspect that gives us that creepy feeling. If we knew the origins to all the creepy pictures in the world, then I think creepy pictures wouldn't be as creepy? I think the mystery really adds a lot to it, and we may not even realize it. Now, don't get me wrong, I like to know the origins and lore of things on the internet, but sometimes we have to just accept that we may never know who took a photo or where a photo was ever taken, and that's okay. Anyway, go subscribe to Morbid. He's trying to get the PS uh, not work. Yeah, y'all. Subscribe to uh, more, more. I just got to this guy, man. Like, this guy's like the real OG That's for this. Okay. Uh, subscribe to Morbid for fun. Like, Morbid for fun. Like, we'll leave a link down to him to. Like, Money for fun. We'll leave a link down to his channel in the link uh, description below. Like, Me and bro. Ace thought of the same thing. Like, bro makes really together. good content. Bro makes really good content. I do enjoy his content. Fun if you haven't already. Yo, Yasha. Go shop at Earl mm. If you interrupt someone one more time, I'm actually gonna break your kneecap. This is a very no. photo, actually gonna use them as full <laughs> Yeah, I've, I've seen this clown before. If you look at the costume, hey, clown, we finally found, found your dad. You we finally found your dad. <laughs> However, the mask isn't a full mask, mother. but instead That's a different bro. clown mask. That's yeah. And the mask yeah, is finally edited to make the photo so you guys have just been upstairs doing some real stuff. I remember this photo so many times during the 2016 Killer Clown craze. So the origins of this image uh, is most likely from 2016. playing Overwatch. So after I just wanted to Overwatch. find a few articles from 2016 Ayo. that have used this photo. Yo, that's low key and me I after found an article from SB sure. Sun that dates back to October 7th, 2016. Where they use this clown photo. 2016, damn. Really caption saying an Instagram account okay. called yeah. We Are Coming to Cali that features this picture and other of creepy clowns and they, Los Angeles it, area communities yes. is sparking concern among some residents. I am so happy I don't live in LA or California for that matter. Instagram. And with this information, that's I what the little people I had found the origins of the like, image. Like, have an 10 times the installation in the world. Cali posted the photo. Hey, you well, know what else? There's a small problem. The Instagram account what? is long gone. Oof. And plus, I doubt that yeah. SB Sun got it's the really photo nice. from the original source. After all, this photo is being used in so many articles. So SB Sun most likely got the photo from a random Instagram page. And that said Instagram page most likely got the image from somewhere else. After a while of searching, I finally decided to throw the image into Pinai, which, like I said earlier, is a more accurate reverse image tool. And it turns out that I was wrong about something. Ooh. This image did not come from the killer clown craze of 2016. It, because it came from I Incredible. The earliest image that was posted to the web. And that it was came from Aces. 2014? October 13, 2014. What? The photo dates back before yeah, I knew the it killer came clown from craze of 2016. When I click on the link to go to the first source, the website is unavailable. And it is not archived in the Wayback Machine. I was so confused and frustrated. Yo, I love with the way back machine. The of the image, so I almost gave up on it. I wasn't going to add this photo to this video, but then I remembered that Tinai also gives me other early dates as well. Sure, it may not be the earliest dates, but I still decided to go through the other links to see if the websites are still active or if archives exist. Then I found this link with the clown photo. The photo dates back to October 17, 2014. Four days mm -hmm. after when the image first surfaced on the web, the link took me to a claim magazine where I finally got <laughs> another California photo. The headline reads, Clown Wait. terrorized the streets of California town. In the article, it also reads this. Apparently, it all began with one guy and an Instagram account. But if Batman taught us anything, it's that copycats are inevitable. With what? more clowns popping up all no, over town and what beyond. It's Why would they refer to Batman? Forever. That have seen Wasco Clown's ridiculous level of creepiness. I'm never leaving the house again at night. Hmm, Wasco yeah, Clown. Up, 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 okay, boy. that's a brand new lead. So then I decided to Google the Wasco Clown. What the hell? Of Wasco Clown. Where's my air in front of the Wasco Bakersfield sign, which is where he got the name Wasco from. He named himself after a town in Bakersfield, California. There's another photo of him on a playground rocket ship in front of insurance buildings. And of course, the infamous photo of Wasco Clown on the swing. 
Don't oh, we all know about the killer what the Steve hell? Who's making that noise? Who has time to do this? Team, there was another killer clown craze, but instead of it being nationwide, it was only locally in California. Mainly yeah, fuck Cali. California. The Wasco clown photos were well, taken by her husband and wife team and posted to an California she needs to sink it to the uh, freaking Pacific Ocean. Project. They didn't expect their photos to go viral, and once locals of the town started to see the photos, they became terrified since they didn't know the context behind these photos. What started as an art project has spawned the armed clown copycats, including the arrested teenager who claimed to be copying the Wasco clown. It is unknown why this married couple decided to do a clown photography project, but when these images got viral, the couple decided to make merch and donate the That's image to crazy. autism and pediatric that, cancer should... research. Yeah, they knew that there was positivity bro. within the Wasco clown photos. Well, that's nice. And that is the end of where did these images come from? All right, well, that was a really good video, y'all. Like, not gonna lie though, any final thoughts about um, things that are going down? Uh, Ace was there in rehab during that. I'm just gonna say that. We have was supposed to be a fresh start. <laughs> yeah, I just want to make we sure that we all. I just want to make sure that we're all like in view though for full screen. But I, I thought that was a really, really interesting video though. It's very informative, honestly. The, I I love this guy's content to be honest though. Like it's really good though, very educational, very like informative. It kept me engaged the entire time, and I was actually questioning myself most of the time though, being like, oh yeah, do I remember this meme? Do I remember like this when it happened? But I was actually baffled how many I didn't know. See, that's what I say every time I look up OnlyFans, bro. I use that exact terms of logic. Was it educational? Yes. That's really all. It teach me the. It, it teach me new positions and forms. For math. Yeah, it taught me one. All right, this one joke isn't funny. Let's just let's just this joke behind. This joke was not funny at all. Well, uh, you're well, you're editing this, this so. Is that what you're going to keep it in or not? Alright, so um, on a different note, uh, this was a very great video. Um, Subscribe to this dude's channel and also subscribe to ours. Yeah, yeah. You know, we put a lot of work into this. Well, yeah, we put a lot of work into this. So, uh, like and subscribe. And on that note, uh, we'll see you later. Yeah, deuces, y'all. Don't go.